So we're going to talk about the Shabbat today and what may or may not be done on the Shabbat. The next malacha on our list is the prohibition to write. One may not write letters, numbers, one may not draw pictures with black pencil, pen, or paint. Rabbinically, it's prohibited to write in a way which is not permanent. For instance, if one were to make, to write in dust, the way people write on somebody's car, wash me, this is rabbinically prohibited. If you draw a picture in the frost on the window, that's rabbinically prohibited. However, to etch in wood or in stone or to embroider in cloth, that would be prohibited by the Torah. That would also be included in the prohibition to write. An important rabbinic prohibition associated with writing is the prohibition to conduct business of any sort on Shabbat because typically business leads to recording the, the details of the discussion, writing a contract, it leads to writing. And therefore our sages prohibited the conducting of business because it leads to writing. The next malacha is erasing. Just as it's prohibited to write, it's also prohibited to erase in a constructive manner. For instance, for the purpose of rewriting something. So erasing something to write to correct a mistake would be prohibited by the Torah. There are other forms of erasing which are also prohibited, mostly rabbinically. For instance, if you open a book which has the name of the library from which it came stamped on the sides of the pages, when you open the book you're breaking apart that writing that's in a way erasing. If you cut a birthday cake which says happy birthday and you cut those letters apart, you are erasing. A typical solution to that problem is if you want to have a birthday party on Shabbat, which is perfectly okay, is to have the writing happy birthday done on a cookie or a piece of chocolate, which then can be removed and the cake cut without any difficulty at all. Other areas in which one has to be careful about erasing would be when you open packaging, food packaging, often the writing is a long the, the place where you're supposed to open it, you have to be careful to open around the writing so that you do not interrupt the flow of the writing. The next uh, malacha work on the list is the prohibition to build on Shabbat. Building in the time of the Mishkan was obvious. They put up the actual structure of the Mishkan. So for that reason, one may not build a house, one may not build a tent, even a temporary structure. You may not open an umbrella on the Shabbat because opening an umbrella is practically creating a tent. One may not conduct repairs to their home, to the walls of the home for that reason. Uh, you may not nail something to the wall because of the prohibition of building. Anything which needs to be assembled may not be done on Shabbat. For instance, assembling a barbecue or a toy that comes in many parts and needs to be assembled is also prohibited on Shabbat for the reason of building. One may open a folding table on Shabbat even though you create an area underneath because we do not use the area underneath. The purpose of the table is to be used on top and that's not considered building. An interesting rabbinic prohibition associated with building is that one may not swim on Shabbat in a large area. The reason is one may come to construct a floating device. If it's a large area, people are afraid to swim without the assistance of a floating device, and one may come to make one, so our sages prohibited swimming in large areas for that reason. After the malacha of building comes the malacha of demolishing. When one demolishes for the purpose of rebuilding, that's prohibited on Shabbat. Demolishing of any sort is prohibited, but only rabbinically. Removing shingles from a roof in order to redo your roof is also demolishing because it's for the purpose of rebuilding. The next malacha that we have to discuss is kindling a fire, starting a fire. There are many things which are covered by this malacha many things which are prohibited in modern day life as a result of this malacha. Smoking a cigarette is prohibited for this reason. Not only lighting your cigarette, but continue to smoke the cigarette as well is prohibited because each time you take a puff, you increase the fire. 
To drive a car is prohibited because each time you put give gas, you're increasing the amount of flame of fire that the, in the combustion engine. To turn on a light, you are actually creating fire inside the bulb. To open your fridge, which has a light, should not be done on Shabbat. You can unscrew the bulb in the fridge and you can have access to your fridge with no problem. Adding fuel to a fire is considered to be kindling a fire. For instance, turning up your gas, putting, adding wood to a fire or coal to a fire, or adding oil to a lamp where a fire is already burning is also considered to be kindling a fire. Following the prohibition to light a fire is the prohibition to extinguish a fire. One may not turn down a fire, make it lower, is also considered to be extinguishing a fire. If you turn off your car, that is extinguishing a fire inside the combustion engine. Turning off a light is extinguishing a fire. Of course, it goes without saying that to save a life, if someone is in danger of dying, one may extinguish a fire for that purpose. Thank mm -hmm. you.